Hello internet people, David here, and this is day 14 of my game development journey. And we figured out what the issue was in the day 13 video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch the day 13 video first. Here was the issue when I was swinging my sword, my little nutty dungeon peanut character. The sword attack animation would play multiple times, as if the animation was never finishing or it was kind of looping. And I resolved this issue with this beautiful comment from Calivander. Calivander said, are you set in swing back to false after you swing? My guess is your walk animation is re-triggering your swing because swing is true still. And this was partially true, as well as are you sure the animation is not set to loop? This was an also another important set in that I had to verify in my animation tree. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So here's some things that I set up since the last video, but I do believe I had this function set move. I'm not gonna rewatch my own video, um, even though I probably should for accuracy, but I had this function set move, which would just set this variable called can move. And I had it so that it didn't actually go to the end of the animation. And what I wanted to do was ground my attack so that while I'm attacking, I can't move. Um, now I've since kind of changed that design around a little bit, but not being able to move kind of allowed my character to finish out the full attack. Now what was happening, I have this update animation parameters right here, um, which gets called in this underscore process function. It's like, I don't know exactly how this works. It's an eternal function. It gets called every tick. Um, it was going to update animation parameters right here and it was set in my animation tree parameters. Now I have some conditions like velocity is equal to zero. Clearly my character is not moving. It should be in the idle state. I have velocity does not equal zero, it's moving, it should be in the walk state. And I also have this condition where I'm swinging, AKA attacking, and this gets called whenever the attack button is pushed. Now what ended up happening is I think while I'm attacking, I was still allowed to move because I didn't set this variable can move. Um, I set it to true way too early. So before the animation finished, it was allowed to move. And therefore, technically my walk condition was being satisfied. And even though in the animation tree, it should really switch at the end of the animation. Technically what was happening was I think it was calling both kind of a walk and idle animation at the same time. And if that wasn't happening, it might have been set in blend positions for these things. Either way, I think it was a race condition between all three of my different states being called kind of at the same time and kind of fighting for priority. So sometimes you'd see the sword swing, then it would get interrupted with the walk animation, then it would go back to swinging or looks like it was completing the swinging. I don't know, but by just adding if I can even move in the first place, which is a variable that at the moment only gets set in my attack animation right here at the end of the swing. Um, this is the sword swing in. Here's kind of the slash. Then this doesn't seem to be an issue. Now I'm going to add some more variables like, can I interrupt this attack before the swing actually goes through? Um, I might use this for if I have like a roll animation. So before the swing actually goes through, I can roll out of the way. So even though I'm kind of queuing up an attack, I can roll out of it before the attack is actually released. As well as I think I'm gonna set another variable in here now that I know how to use these functions um, in the animation player to also set a variable that allows me to combo after the swing. So maybe giving myself a small little window between the end of the release of the attack and before the swing fully recovers to be able to combo up another attack. In which case I'll play maybe a second attack animation, maybe a horizontal slash, something different. I'm still kind of experimenting with that. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to compliment the community for helping me out once again. Thank you, Calivander, and thank you, Winter Makes Games 759. Um, you guys were very helpful with me figuring out whatever this bug was. 
um, because it kind of did throw me for a loop for a few hours and it's great that I can make a video and have you guys in the community and internet help me solve my bug in like five minutes. I think like an hour after releasing that video, Calavander already kind of had a solution or at least a direction for me to investigate further and um, he was right. Another important thing, and I don't know if I actually tested this alongside Calavander's um, fix, but in my attack animation, in this attack state, one of these, yeah, one of these branches, um, there was like reset and break loop at end. I don't know if these need to be toggled off, but I toggled them off. So it's something you might want to look into if you were having the same issues I was having in my day 13 video. You know, as always, thanks everyone. I'm David. Peace and love. Love and peace. See you guys in another video. Peace out. So here I am. I'm rambling in this video and I didn't even showcase the attack animation without the bug. So here we go. Look at this. Boom. So what I've done too is I've allowed myself to move a little bit but my movement is slower. So I'm not necessarily grounded but I'm not having the same issues that you saw in video three. The only thing I can do is before the slash actually goes, I can actually like change the direction, which is kind of funny. So I got that kind of going for me. But I think the attack animation is looking good. It's looking more and more kind of grounded. Um, I think it's looking good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, consider liking, consider subscribing. Peace out.